Now this Russ journey began as a humble solo player setting off on a new way, crossing the land and building a small but powerful base at the edge of the world. However, my small solo base had attracted some unwanted attention, surviving not one, but two offline raid attempts. It was therefore apparent that I would need to find a new place to call home. I woke up on the second day of the server to my base being attempted raided once again. The doors were missing, but the bunker was still secure. My loot was safe and I resealed the base with more doors. But with a price on my head and a new clan compound set up right outside, I felt it was time to say goodbye to my bunker base and look for a new home. And so as the sun rose on a new day, I set off on foot to find the perfect location. Ooh, these guys haven't actually walled off the quarry yet. I might be able to use that. Oh, never mind. They are on their roof. Out of camp, looting that toolbox. <laughs> I'm greedy. Ooh, salvaged axe. That's huge. I can farm with it. Oh my gosh. Wait, are they still trying to shoot me? <laughs> if they not hear about the recoil update, you're not hitting that with a Thompson, my guy. God, this road is absolutely perfect. After leaving my bunker base, I had traveled west, inland, towards the many monuments beyond. The road I found myself on was full of loot and not too many players. And with water treatment nearby, this might just be an interesting location to set up. I stashed the components I'd farmed and got to work farming for a base. Ooh, that salvaged axe was a beautiful find. I can pretty much already build. God, I'm gonna sneak my base in this little rock here. That's beautiful. I love it. I love it. While I had big plans for a main base, I didn't want to waste time and so set up a small, temporary starter that I could gather and store resources in before being ready to build. Enough wood. I should probably get an actual airlock. Fuck. Wait, no, don't run! No, no! There's... It's alive! What the fuck? Bro. It has literally ran. Like 500 meters! Oh my god, fuck. Okay, well I at least have a furnace now, that's good. With the base upgraded and slightly more secure, I now needed to test whether my nearest monument, the water treatment, was safe enough for me to recycle at, because without a recycler I could use consistently, I would have a hard time in a wipe. Has he? Oh, <laughs> I thought, not gonna lie, I thought he was geared. Yeah, no, he had nothing. Ooh, AKs. I'm just gonna try and recycle and get out. I don't want to be fighting anyone right now. I need this home. Despite many shots nearby, I had successfully recycled and made it home with the loot. This was a promising start and gave me high hopes for this new location. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of farming done. Nice. Furnaces were down and everything was running smoothly. I headed back to water treatment for another scrap run in the hopes of getting enough for a tier 2. Someone recycling. I don't think he heard me. Yeah, this guy has no idea. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> Probably jumped out of his fucking seat, man. And just like that, in under 30 minutes, I had farmed enough scrap for a workbench level 2. 
And with that task done, I next needed to focus on farming building materials for my main base. Beautiful stuff. Ooh, explo ammo. It's kind of juicy. Might be able to use that. While previously roaming, my attention had been drawn to the massive mountain overlooking my base. It also overlooked water treatment on the other side. I wanted to explore the peak and see if just maybe I could build a base up there. See, this is a nice spot to build here, but it's kind of halfway up the mountain. I don't know, man. Something about the very top is calling to me. I feel like I have to. I have to go up there. Oh my god, this is so cool. There's a base, though. Wood door. Okay, so... Ooh. What about this flat little rock here? Wait, this could actually be insane. Can I build here? No, building blocks. Okay, I think I'm going to need to raid that base. And if it's only got wooden doors, I actually can, because this spot is insane. Oh my god, with the sun rising, I, I have to live here, man. Alright, okay. So I had found what appeared to be the perfect spot to build my base. Unfortunately, someone had beat me to it. And before building my own base, I was going to need to take care of that one. Seeing as I would need to live in my current base a little longer, I thought I would expand it a bit. See, my plan was to use the workbench I'd farmed and research the Molotov cocktails, allowing me to flame raid the base on the peak of the mountain. Okay, beautiful. This base is slightly less cramped. Look at that, cute little jump up. And tier two. God damn, that's one of the fastest workbenches. I quickly farmed the road for some more components and extra scrap. And once I made it home, I took my components off to water treatment. Recycling these would give me the scrap I needed to learn the Molotov cocktail. Okay, 200 scrap, smooth, I'm out of here. Where's that bear running from? Him. Oh, that missed! Come on. That one didn't miss. Oh, come on. Oh, this guy's running for his life. I have him. Yoink. Not bad. He had an animal fat. I'm actually going to need that for Molotov raids. Okay. 250 scrap. That is just enough. Let's get it. With the recycle run complete, I now had the scrap to learn the Molotov. I was almost ready to raid. All that was left was turning my animal fat into low-grade fuel. Luckily, I had a mixing table. Oh, this is the base that has everything now. I got a mixing table. I don't think it can stay there, though. It's not the uh, most space-efficient thing. But look at that, 700 low-grade. And now, with everything I needed for the raid, I set off to reclaim the mountain that should be mine. Cow up, fuck up, fuck up, take it over this mountain. Right, hopefully another wood door. Come on, come on, come on, please be wood. Okay, I'm gonna need more mollies. I will go one more for the wood door and then one more for the tool cupboard, which is hopefully behind it. Oh, please be open in there. I beg. No double doors. Definitely no garage doors. Okay. Double doors. Let's go. Okay, okay. I, I might be able to get both of them. I don't see why that wouldn't work. Oh, that is so satisfying. And unlock TC! Oh my god, that's just quite a lot of loot. Give me that. Let's go. Let's get that bag out the way. The base is mine. Got Revy in here. A couple DBs, a satchel. 
These guys were a uh, chainsaw too. That's quite nice, actually. These guys had some juice. With the raid sealed, I now had the perfect flank base and external tool cupboard for what would be my new main base. I actually just realized I now have six different bases on this server. I've got the boat base, the junkyard base, the old bunker, the new base. Like, what the fuck? Just because I don't want this one to get raided, I'm going to get a garage door. Beautiful. I fortified both my starter and the flank base with some more doors. I also got some more furnaces running, as I was going to need a lot of metal fragments for the main base I wanted to build. Oh, what a wonderful day today has been of rust. It's just been so smooth. I haven't even been on very long. And so, just over an hour into day two on the sub, and everything was perfectly in place. I was ready to build the main. Let's do it. Now that I've got the TC, I should have no problems building this. Uh, I'm excited. Going for the, uh, the Wilgem Classic today. Top of the tallest mountain. Alright, we'll get that straight to sheet. Oh, I haven't built this in such a long time. Now today, I was building a base design close to my heart. I'll be impressed if any of you can already recognize what it is. Well, the seventh base of the wife is now being built. I'm not sure, m maybe I should shoot for eight. Maybe seven bases isn't enough, but, uh, No, I think this is the one. This one feels different. Something about... just being up here. There we go, garage door down, no one's taking that TC. Now that base is safe, I just need to farm up now. Oh, that is an AK right next to my starter, what the fuck? Oh my, uh... Uh oh. While farming the road, I had noticed a 2 by one base with a wooden door. I had been wanting to raid it from the start, and now that I had Molotovs, I could. Alright, what do we reckon? Is this gonna have opponent juice? I just feel like whoever lives here has been farming the road a lot. Wait, is that not gonna work? I don't think it is. That's annoying. Unfortunately, the foundation was too high and the Molotovs were ineffective against the door. I did, however, remember that in my old bunker base, I had a satchel charge, which I could use on the wooden door. I respawned back in the bunker base for the first time since I had left that morning. I figured while it was nighttime, I would try and do a quick loot transfer run, taking as much as I could from the old bunker to my new base. Damn, this base actually has a lot of loot left in it. I really did just leave with nothing earlier. By the time I was ready, however, the sun had already risen. This was going to be a dangerous run. Oh, I really hope my neighbors aren't online right now. Come on. Let's go. I made it. That was a little bit sketch. With the satchel successfully transferred, I went back to finish the job. Boom. Should be really low now. Yep, two shots. Nice. Surprisingly, the base was fully open, but being a solo, I couldn't make the jump into the door. I quickly ran home to grab a ladder. Oh my, okay, well that's really, really unfortunate. They're gonna take my raid. Bro, I cannot see him! Bro, I hate these camo kits, man, they suck! Like, I just, I, he's fucking invisible, man. He's just the same color as the snow. Okay, yep, they're just aiming at my base now. Oh, that's a different one. They have AKs as well. That is... Oh, there's another... Okay, there's, there's four. Four of them, right. Um, well, that's not good. I really hope they don't decide to raid me. The satchel charge I'd thrown had attracted the attention of a rather large group that lived nearby. With the threat of a raid from them very real, I would have to tread very carefully. Just so this base doesn't get... Like, 2C4. <laughs> At least now it's actually fairly strong. 
I'm going to get that DB learn. I think that might come in handy later on. Oh. Oh. They just... Four of them lining up at my door. That's interesting. But why on earth were they door camping there? It's so weird. Oh, dear. This is honestly such a cozy base. I'm... Uh, I got... I got... Jump! There we go. I've actually been loving living in this base. It's gonna be sad, but I have to move on, man. Better things. While on my way to water treatment, I spotted a new base that popped up right next to mine. And with Molotov raiding now an option, I thought I would go and investigate. Oh, this isn't good. I can't let a new group move in nearby. Is he Arctic suit? Oh, that's bad timing. Oh, they must have seen me, surely. There's two guys. If I can kill one with the door open, I've actually got a really good chance. Ah, oh, they've just put down another door. Oh, they have SARS. Okay, that's rough. Two players with tier two guns, but only wooden doors. If I could manage to put them on bag timers, I would have time to run home, craft molotovs, and raid them without any chance of defending. If I can kill the guy that has access to the key lock, I could actually do something here. Oh, stuck. Okay, that's huge. Right. One guy dead on bag timer. I'm going for it. And with one man already dead with a bag timer, and their front door wide open, this was the best chance I was gonna get to evict them from my area. I, this has to work. If I lose this raid, then that's a duo with guns living right next to me, which I cannot have. Okay, door's still open. I've got this. Let's fucking go! This actually will clear the bags as well, which is huge. I'm just gonna lob the molly in when that door breaks. Go, go, go! Get the TC! I think I heard him burn in there, man. I don't even know. I'm just fucking launching him. I think that's a body. Hang on, he might be around the corner. Safe. Yeah, there, there's no one alive in there, man. <laughs> the whole thing has just been cooked. There, there we go. Oh, he might have had one. Let's go. Got a, an extra Thompson. It's huge. I didn't actually have that blueprint. TC? Not a whole lot of loot. Oh, well. Let me just seal this. That is a win for me. After sealing off their tool cupboard to make sure they never returned, I took my loot home to my new base on the hill. Alright, well that was a dub. Got them out of the area. And I got a Thompson and a Sar out of it, which isn't bad. Some decent comps too. I'm actually down bad on clock right now. I should probably do a run of that before I do anything else. Thanks to living in the snow, I had been running low on cloth for a while. I took my tarp on a quick water treatment recycle run. This horse is going to be quite helpful actually. I can get all the way down the mountain. Gotta get this skin on it. I'll go with a workbench Sar. It's a classic. A Wiljum Poncho. Can't beat him, join him with the whites out set. Alright, nice. And so, with the nearby vicinity cleared, it was time for me to hard focus on farming for the base. Right, 6k wood, that is more than enough. that is all the stone I need. It is time to actually make my base. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely enough. I'm ready. I return to the starter base to craft some garage doors and bring along the all-important workbench tier 2. 
Oh, if I die with this, I might actually cry, maybe. <laughs> Please. Oh, fuck. Right, wool's on. Double door frame. Three triangles. Uh, actually, do I want that third one? Yeah, I will, I will. Seal up this bit. Ah, there we go. Let's go, we got the workbench down now. Now I can get the garage door crafted. Boom. And now six rockets. Uh, I'll leave the roof access open. I'll make that another door up there. I want to expand this base quite high, so... I think that will lead some furnaces. Double door on the front. And another double door on the roof. Perfect. Okay, this space is now livable. Uh, all I gotta do is just start moving stuff over. Just double check that the bunker still works. With my base now sealed with garage doors and sheet metal, it was ready to begin storing loot. It was time to gather everything I had collected over the wipe and start transferring it into my new home. Okay, starting to get it all in one place. Oh, that is not good timing. I just want to move my loot, man. I hope they're not going to raid me. Once I get this loot out of here, I'll feel safe. Oh, that's them. Okay. While attempting to move loot, I had heard the group from earlier shooting bolt rifles from outside my new base. I quickly respawned to see what was going on. Yeah, it seems that they are using my base to, to roof camp water treatment. This isn't good. Should probably wait on the transfer. It appeared that that group roamed this area fairly often. I decided to add some quick honeycomb to the base to deter any potential raid. At least this way, I can't get like 2C forward. Oh, I love that you can rotate those roofs now, it's like one of the best quality of life changes in a while. Having said there's a lot left. Boom. Is that everything? Oh no, this wall here. Okay, now eight rockets to raid, which is not bad for a little shit shack. Although I do need to get this to sheet metal. Beautiful. I will eventually get the core to sheet metal as well. And then it will be 12 rockets, and then, you know, I add more honeycomb, upgrade to HQM. We're looking at even more. Oh my god, there's a car, what the fuck? And there's Yogi, oh my- what the fuck? And with the coast seemingly clear, I was finally able to move the rest of the loot from my starter up to my main. I really hope those guys haven't clocked on that I've moved up here. Well, I made the run home, that is good. That is now most of the loot kind of here. Uh, I mean, I've still got a hell of a lot in my other bases, but that'll do. Scraps from this base. Not too much left. Oh god. Uh oh. Okay, they're over there. That means I should be okay. <laughs> I can hear them. So I think I'm safe. Go, go, go! I love this mountain, man. With all the loot successfully transferred, it was time to make this house more into my home. there. Beautiful. I actually love this new garage door skin. Such a nice one. 
I got the bunk kits of armor. I feel like that's a good idea. Oh, this is going. Beautiful. I got another large box up there. It's time for some bear rugs. We can all agree. Sleeping bag might be helpful. Oh, I'll put this one. I can go on here. Okay. I'm liking this space. It's uh, feeling more like home with every little change I make. The view from this base is just actually insane, man. Okay, that's all the scraps from here. Right, I think this floor will be like my my bedroom, my electricity. my roof access. Third furnace. There we go. It's looking better now. And by the time the sun rose on a new day, my fortress was beginning to develop. I just want to honeycomb the bunkers, just so people don't know from the outside that I have a bunker. I can't oh. Let's get that. Alright, and then with this honeycombed as well, that is the bunker secured. Oh, damn. Oh, I love the location of this place, man. I just, I don't think there's ever been a more, like, perfect spot to build for me than this. It's a bit more spacious now. Okay. All of that is now sheet metal. Killing it. Ain't nobody raiding this one for cheap. I'm gonna make that armored. I don't have much high qual, but I think it's worth it. <laughs> I can see literally so far. I, I, this is the tallest mountain on the whole server, without a doubt. I mean, what in the world? With my base capable to defend the majority of Rome Raiders, I headed off to water treatment to explore. Oh shit, those guys are high qual. Oh, they saw me. Fuck. They definitely just saw me. Yep. I could... Do I post up here? No, not here. Oh, behind the quarry. If I sit behind here, I reckon one will try and run past. I'd be able to get a free kill. Come on, get greedy. Go after me. Oh. One. Fuck, I don't know where his teammate is. Give me that AK. No, dude, he's not gonna push me, is he? Fuck. I bet he's just going on some super wide flank, just crouching around, and I'm just gonna get sprayed. I wanna loot the body, but I can't, because he could be literally anywhere. Fuck, I hate this man. But I want to fight him. Where is he? Oh, yep, yep. Of course. Full crouched all the way, all the way around, man. Oh dear. I don't think that guy knew how to uh, unbind his crouch key. Not that I'm one to talk, really. I know I could have done the same and tried to flank, but I don't know. I feel like I need to get out of the habit of playing so scared. I just want to take more fights and just be more aggressive in general. Something I lack. This guy see me? Oh, 
Oh, come on, man. I've really not been enjoying the Tommy too much recently. Ooh, got a base on you, poor guy. He was ready. Not knowing if that player was a member of the larger group, I took my loot to my old starter. That way, if they were somehow tracking me, they wouldn't know about my new base location. Okay, I can just leave the stuff here for now. Oh wait, what the fuck? That's a guy? No! What? Oh, I... I couldn't see him! Like... That is ridiculous. This kit, the, the, the camos in this game are crazy. Like, I can't... <laughs> you can barely make him out! He's the exact same color as the sky behind him, man. What? Oh, and he's a teammate. Okay, there's not a whole lot I can do. Oh, what? Unfortunately, my new area was harsh. The land was dominated by nothing but full metal kitted players. I decided to spawn at my original base in Junkyard, before even the bunker in the snow. And if you haven't watched the previous video, the link will be in the description. I think you'll enjoy it. I had respawned at this base with the aim of collecting the gears I had gathered and bringing them to my new base, but the journey was long, and there was a good chance I wouldn't make it alive. God, I haven't been here in ages, man. Look at these bases. Look at the mushies. There it is! The Wiltrum Fortress on the hill. That looks so sick. Okay, well I got the gears, which is good. Get myself a few more garage doors with that. Let's load up these furnaces too. With the gears successfully transferred to the base, I could craft three more garage doors. Yeah, I pity anyone that wants to raid this through doors, they're gonna have a rough time. Oh my gosh, there are actually crates of water treatment? What is this? It's scripted. It's never happened to me before in my life. There was a crate up here. Still is. I bet there's someone already up there though. I'm not sure it's worth me really pushing with a DB slug. I don't know if that's the play. Someone. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Please don't kill, man! I mean... <laughs> my, I'm, I'm not gonna kill no, my... No, 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 gun on the floor. Gun on the floor. Right now, I'm gonna kill you. I'm friendly! You have five seconds. It's not, it's not, there it is. Nice, bro. Good one. Okay, okay, okay. You Thank you, man. Out. Thank you. Go away, go away. Take your gun and go away. Take your okay. gun and take your gun. Go away. Thank you, man. Fast, 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 fast. I love people like that, man. You gotta respect it, you know? Like... You gotta respect- I could have tried to kill him, right? But I feel like you've gotta have that respect for people. If they show you respect, you gotta- you gotta show them some back in this game. Oh god, Yogi's lurking in the bush. Wait, no. WAIT, THERE'S ANOTHER ONE! OH FUCK! Ah! Oh, I'M SO DEAD! Oh god! No! Moving on. Because that did not just happen. Ooh, the furnaces have been cooking. Lots of frags. Ooh, tank A wood, that is more than enough. I return to the starter base once again to collect the last of the resources there and bring them to the new home. Okay, that is now everything. Where should I put that shoddy trap? Hmm. Looks good. 
plenty of space. I returned to water treatment to grab some scrap and barrels. I was going to need plenty of comps to craft the guns necessary to take on the geared players in the snow. Alright, I'm getting loaded. Wait, I have to make this back alive, I really need this cloth. I'll save that. Let's go. We're back baby, we're back. I decided I wanted a bit of a break from my area and to explore some more primitive lands. And so I returned to my junkyard base, grabbed myself a P2, and went to explore the land. Let's see what we've got going on over here. A bean can, no way. I'm gonna bait this guy, watch. <laughs> oh, I bet he just shat himself, man. And while roaming, my attention was drawn to a decaying base with seemingly riches just an arm's reach away. No way. I bet that is unlooted because this base decayed. This wasn't raided. Oh, I bet those vending machines have juice. Fuck, I wish I could get behind there though, man. God damn it. See if there's, a, if there's any loot like anywhere else in this base, then that will kind of confirm it for me. Furnaces have charcoal, full of charcoal. Mm. Ooh. So this it's obviously been looted by a grub, but I, I genuinely think there will be loot in in that core. Oh, there's so much charcoal too. These guys are gonna have resources. This guy's got. It's an auto turret too. DB. I don't know. Oh fuck! Flame turret on. Okay, I have to go for it. I'm. I'm gonna try and break that workbench and get through. Okay, I'm getting chased by two guys. They don't know I have a P2 though. The ultimate hazy bait. Come here. We take that. I right, just had a kit. Wait, this guy had a saw? He had a hundred five five. Where's his gun? For what? Why was he one health with a hundred five five? What is he doing? Where's his gun though? What the fuck? Wait. He had a spaz tw- What is this guy doing? <laughs> what? Oh dear, oh dear. The decaying base itself had auto turrets, an active flame turret, large boxes with loot, and vending machines potentially full of riches just out of reach. I had to break that workbench level 2 and see for myself. Now I knew that you could break a workbench with 14 molotovs, which is obviously quite a lot of low-grade fuel. However, when you live next to water treatment like myself, low grade isn't really an issue. Oh yeah, low grade for days. Oh, shit, Minnie's going past. I must take off my hazzy. Wait, what? Huh? Why did they just pre fight How did they have any idea I was there? Damn, man. I've been getting so many like weird experiences with just sketchy stuff, man. I don't know. Unfortunately, I died while smelting down the diesel for low-grade fuel. Luckily, water treatment was not short on diesel barrels. I returned, collected some more, and went to grab my fuel. All right, water treatment take two. It's fine. I only lost like five or six diesel. That is nothing. I can get that in no time. But that was just so weird. Oh, this thing is a crazy man. I mean, what? How much did I use? Oh my, it didn't even use the final diesel. That was three diesel, four diesel. For 700 low grade. And crude oil. What? With all the low grade back to base, I crafted up the Molotovs and headed on that journey south, down to the primitive lands to raid that decaying base. Hey,
Alright, it's better not be a waste of time. I'm gonna build this base just in case it's loaded. I don't wanna like risk losing it all because I couldn't be bothered to make a, a little raid base to store loot. This just make me feel a little bit better. Hopefully this is not a complete bust. But I feel like you never know. Alright. Let's take out this workbench. Boom! Burn, baby! And after all that, what was the loot that I gained? Nothing. But I wasn't done just yet. See, I recognized that vending machine layout and figured that the tool cupboard would be right behind. It was worth a shot at least. Nah, I, I can't give up now. I'm going for that TC. I have to. Jackie is all I need. See, I'm, I'm not wasting my time, I swear. I believe, motherfucker, I will get loot. Alright, here we go. Just gotta get through that TC. But, I have a molly. I knew it would be there. People doubting me, I knew it would be there. Come on. Oh fuck man, I hope this isn't a waste. Come on. And the question was, after all that effort... Worth. 1100 scrap, almost enough in itself for a workbench level 3. And now that I had access to the base's tool cupboard, I would even be able to pick up the auto time. So, overall, I consider that a win. You know what, I take it man, 1100 scrap and an auto turret, that's gotta be worth. I knew, I had, you gotta have faith man, I knew it. Nah, I gotta keep going, I reckon there's some more loot in here. Huh, that's weird. Can't pick it up, but it's out of stock. I still wasn't quite done with the base, I was unable to pick up the vending machine, which means there must have been loot inside of it. And while the loot might not have been great, I thought it was worth investigating anyway. Wait, why can I not place my bag there? What the fuck? Bro, that's so stupid, come on! Ugh. Okay, now surely I can place my bag because my head's not blocked. What? Bro, what is this game? It sucks! I still to this day don't know why I wasn't able to place this sleeping bag. If anyone does actually know, please let me know in the comments. Oh, there we go. What a waste of time. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Motherfucker. I mean, I guess if I need charcoal. There's still more I want to get from this base though, man. They have so much charcoal. Where's the juice? Fuck it. I'm spending a couple satchels. I'm just going to use all the sulfur I have left from this junkyard base. Probably going to be a waste, but oh well. Right, this stone wall. I feel like there could be something behind here. Oh my god, that was quick. <laughs> that was a hole in the ceiling. Within this space, there was still one wall that I wasn't able to get behind and it appeared that it would be main loot. I thought I would give it a shot and band together all the sulfur I'd gathered to craft some satchels. I am not a quitter, man. I'm doing it. Ultram never gives up. Right, just in case, I'm just gonna slightly wall myself in here because throwing these satchels on that frame is gonna be so sketchy. There is a good chance I'm gonna blow myself up and I do not want to lose that. Alright, that'll be perfect. Here we go. Boom! I'm coming in. I'm going for two. Alright. 
right, couple more. Yep, it's going well. Come on. And with that final satchel, I was in. To the armored one by one, main loot. Nothing. But at least I gave it a shot, right? It was a little bit painful, but there you go. You can't win them all. Bruh. I am in so much pain. Oh, they must have just despawned loot because this is their main loot. That is so sad, man. And with the auto turret learned, I took the rest of the gains from that base and ran it home. At this point, it was starting to get pretty late into the night, and most EU players were fast asleep. But not me, because there was no better time to farm than now. Almost 5am UK time, there was no better opportunity to try and run the high quality quarry. Right now I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to get countered here, at least I hope not. If anyone's still awake now, then they're just as crazy as I am. And so, with over 350 high quality gained from the quarry, I quickly returned home. Beautiful stuff. With it so late, I thought I would use this downtime to make my base a little bit nicer. I think you guys have been waiting long enough for some box organization. Oh, look at that. Lanterns. Or lanterns make everything better. Oh, I love it. Right, there we go. That's going to work. Nice. Gotta get the charcoal box. That should go a fair bit. Comps can go in here. Oh, look at all that high qual. I might as well just upgrade the whole bunker. After smelting all the HQM from the quarry, I could now make my entire bunker armoured. And with some upgraded honeycomb, this base would be a bare minimum of 27 rockets to raid. Yeah, I pity anyone that tries to uh, offline raid this base. It will not be worth. Oh yeah, I might as well just get the whole thing up to sheet. I'm going crazy. Nice. Another garage door can squeeze in here. I love this base. I've missed it, man. I I'm going to build it more often. It's just so compact. Just need to honeycomb the outside of the bunker a bit too. side as well. Okay, that's all of the loot rooms honeycombed at least with one stone and one metal. Extend the door path out even further. The Wiljum Fortress was now fortified. I wanted to use the scrap that I had gained to learn some important blueprints that would help me out for future wipes. I'll get the high wall, I'll need that. Definitely some explo. Ah, if I get locker as well. Holy shit. I did not realize he was that good. Ah, it's two of them. But one of them's really far away. I might be able to do something here. Okay.
Okay. I can loot that. I think his teammates over that way somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna post up because he's definitely just gonna come. Bro, I just, these guys, they just know. They know to always come from behind. I kind of like the handmade scope on this. Give me that. Thank you for the saw, my guy. Has that guy got a gun? He has something. Oh, it was a jackhammer. I mean, I'll take that. It's actually not bad. It's full HP apart from the fact it's broke. Oh. You have a farmer. Wait, you had a saw? <laughs> I mean, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, fuck it. That'll do. That guy just dropped. Tommy. I actually wasn't expecting that guy to have a kit. A grub kit, man. Oh. Holy shit. Did not see him. I don't know if he has any more teammates. Ah, give me that, Tommy. What the fuck? <laughs> that little grub, man. Oh no. He's got the silencer. Fucking run. Hey, we take that run. We got like four guns off him. Nice. Get fucking loaded in here, man. Despite my base already being fortified and strong, I wanted to take it a bit further. But we all know that any good base needs a shooting floor. Right, let's get this whole floor to armor. You know what? I'm just gonna upgrade everything to sheep. I'm gonna go for something a little bit different to the usual. I'm gonna go, it'll be a little cozy, but I like it. I'm gonna go for a fully sealed, like, shooting floor with, uh, peak downs. Fuck it, all to sheet metal. It's happening. Let's get that to sheet as well. Oh my god, this base is so tanky, man. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever spent this many frags on a single base. Oh, look at that. And lastly, what I wanted to do was set up my auto turrets. The solar panels on the roof. I think two should be enough. Medium. Stick them both into the combiner. Combiner out to the turret or the power. Nice. And then, oh, I can put the turret like up here. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Yes, I love that. I love it. We gotta learn the fridge. It'll be rude not to. Okay. Let's go. With the auto turret wired and connected, all that was left was the finishing touches, making the perfect cozy solo base. And I must say, this has got to be one of my favorite bases I've ever lived in. Oh shit! That is the coolest skin I've ever seen! What? It's like 3D! I love that. I got 
a locker bed. Right, what should I learn? Bed, that was it. I forgot what I was doing there. Oh yeah, I love it, man. Even fit the research table in there, get the scrap. Ah, I am pretty happy with this. I think for one day of wipe, this has gone pretty well. <laughs> I mean, look at this base, man, it's sick. We got the bedroom floor with the battery, we got the sheet metal shooting floor. Filled with garage doors. I should probably seal up the bunker as well. And with the finishing touches complete, I sealed up the bunker and called it a night. And that wraps up my two-part solo rust adventure. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to subscribe. If you hadn't watched the previous episode, Make sure to watch that as well, link will be in the description. With all that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Wiljum? <laughs>